Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add copy to clipboard button into your WordPress website. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so there are three ways that I'm going to show you how to add the copy to clipboard button. The first way is by using a plugin. The second way is by uh, using an external JavaScript library. And the third way is by using a page builder like Elementor. Let's start with the first way by using a WordPress plugin. Alright, so inside your WordPress uh, dashboard, go to plugins, add new and search for copy anything to clipboard. I already installed it on my WordPress, so all I have left to do is just to activate it. Once I did, I will revisit my page and I can start adding the copy to clipboard text. So in order to do that, let's just add a new Gutenberg block by clicking on the plus icon over here and we'll choose a shortcode because the plugin that we installed works with a shortcode. So let's uh, choose the shortcode and we'll go to the written blog post. You have the link in the description box down below and we'll copy the shortcode from here and we'll paste it inside the shortcode block just like so. Now you have two uh, variables over here, the text and the content. So this is the text of the button. For example, we can write something like click me to copy the coupon code and this is the content that will be copied. For example, 50% off, which is the coupon code. So let's click on update, visit the page, and we can see the text, we'll click on it. And to verify that it copied the right thing, we'll paste it here and we can see that it's copied the right coupon. Now this plugin also works really good with programming codes. For example, this time we'll add a code block instead of a short code block. And here we'll type our code, let's say PHP hello world. And because we activated this plugin, automatically it will add the button to every free tag that we have on our website. And because the code block also already comes with a pre tag, it will add the copy button automatically. So just know that whenever you use a code block, it will add the copy button into it. So you can copy the code and paste it over here just to verify. Excellent, so that was our first uh, method by using a plugin. So before moving on, let's just deactivate this plugin. And now we can move on to the second method by using JavaScript. All right, so in this method, we'll use a JavaScript library. And in order to add the JavaScript library into our website, we can call it from our uh, header.php file. So let's go to appearance and then team editor. And here we look and click on the header.php file of our child team. All right, so then we'll find the closing head tag. We can see it over here. So we'll create a space just above it and we'll call the JavaScript library by using this script tag over here. You have the link in the description box down below, uh, as I said earlier. Let's paste it over here. And once we did, we'll update the file. And then we'll need to declare it by passing a DOM selector or HTML element. Now we can do it specifically on every page. However, that will be not practical. So it's better to do it inside the footer.php file. So let's go to the footer.php file over here. We will declare it just before the closing body tag and that will be included on every page. So let's copy the script that we need to declare. We'll copy it from here and we'll paste it just before the closing body tag. And now we can use it site-wide. All right, so after we pasted it, let's just update the file. And now we can create the elements of the content that we would like to copy and the copy button. So let's go to our page and we'll switch to the coding editor. Just like so, we'll scroll to the position that we would like to create the content. And here we will create the two HTML elements. One of them is a paragraph and the other one is a button. So let me just copy it from here and paste it all the way here at the bottom. Just like so. We have two elements. One is the paragraph with the ID of foo. And this is the text to be copied. You can change it to whatever you want. And this is the button that you'll need to click on in order to copy the text. So obviously you can uh, enter your own content but the most important thing is that the ID of the paragraph foo 
will match the ID over here. You can definitely change the ID value, but it's definitely must match between the two elements. Okay, so after you finish, just update it and refresh it and you will see the text to be copied and the button itself will click on it. It will copy the content above it. Let's just paste it here to make sure it's working and it is. And now we can move on to the third method uh, by using a page builder like Elementor. So by default, Elementor doesn't have the copy to clipboard widget. So we will need to add a, an external widgets library, right? So we can use the Dynamico uh, library, which is very good. You can get it from the official website for $59 minimum, or you can get the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. The only difference is that we don't provide technical support because we didn't create it, we're just redistributing it. But it's very easy to use and I'm sure we'll have no issues whatsoever to use it. So whether you chose to download it from the official website or from us, go to your WordPress website, into plugins, add new, upload plugin and choose the plugin that you just downloaded. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your website, just go to it search for the Dynamico over here just like so you can find it over here along with many other plugins then just click on install and once you finish installing it click on activate in order to activate the plugin great now go to your elementor page and search for the copy to clipboard widget you can see that this widget was added thanks to the Dynamico plugin and under the content you will have two tabs. The first one is button and the second one is content. Now this is the button that will copy the text. If you want to add text to the button just type it over here, click to copy or any other text that you would like to add. I prefer just to keep it as icon so I will delete the text and I will move on to the content tab. I will expand it and we have three different types of content text and you can see the text over here you also have text area and code so in this example i will take the text area i will switch back to it and we can see the text here if you can't see it just uh, toggle the visible uh, to on and you will see it over here now if we'd like to position the button inside the text area just switch to the style tab go to the text area and switch the position from static to absolute and it will be automatically it position itself on the right side then just click on update visit the page make sure uh, you can copy the text by clicking on the button and we'll paste it over here to make sure it copied the right text and it is and everything is working as expected all right guys so in this tutorial i show you how to create copy to clipboard button in a few different ways uh, thank you very much for watching this video please let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment in the comment box down below please also like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way and i will see you all in the next video bye